Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2 Total War, the English campaign. Now I am much more upbeat, much more jovial, because all of a sudden we have advancements in the Middle East. We started off a bit shaky, and yeah, after a, a blunder of my own doing, which may have turned out for the better in the long run, we actually lost Antioch. Took Aleppo, but realised that there was no point of having it because it's just a useless settlement that's no use to us at this time. And took Acre instead, and now we have a castle, a fortress in fact, with a decent army garrison, a decent population so we can recruit some units, although at the moment we can't, um, because the buildings are knackered. Uh, but yeah, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on getting this castle a little bit more stable, so we're going to focus on getting some farming, um, a church as well, paved roads, oh, it's a shipwright do again, yep, a shipwright is good for trade as well, and some roads, so we're going to get some stability with the, with the infrastructure first, and then we're going to focus on these buildings here, to build, um, to recruit some troops. We are going to actually, oh, we can't recruit some uh, boats yet. We're going to recruit some boats as quickly as we can so that we can sail across and at least take another settlement. Take a little island, use it as an opportunity um, to expand our empire. So down there things are looking a bit more rosy, <coughs> whereas up here, <coughs> excuse me, blue face again. For some reason, I don't know why it's always on a blue face. We're going to concentrate once again on trade building. So, a merchant's wharf, and some roads, and a fairground. And what else do we need? Dublin, a port, and a market. Inverness? Nope. Edinburgh? Nope. York, Carnarvon, Dublin, Nottingham. Oh yes, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're getting there. Need someone removed, sir. On my way. Hmm. Paris is increasing. <coughs> Right. So there's nothing more to construct up there. Right, we'll continue down here. <laughs> Master Theologians Guild in London. Oh, that's better. Yes, we'll be recruiting decent cardinals before you know it. Nope, still don't have one yet though. Construction faction announcements. Somebody nope, oh, Michelle's come of age. Who is Michelle anyway? Is it a boy? A Mitchell? Ah, oh, it is Mitchell. Ooh, five star. He shall be the commander of my mega army that I'm about to uh, recruit. <laughs> Jihad against Jerusalem. Now that's quite a pivotal little situation. <laughs> that's quite a turn up for the books. I'll be back in a second. Okay, hello and welcome back. I just, uh, once again, the old timing issue came to the forefront again. Uh, so we took the opportunity to just get our building work in order. And as you can see, the amount of, I've built a cathedral now in London. 5,000 florins, just to build a cathedral. And I am now 11, 12,000 florins losing this turn, down to 13,000 overall. We are getting to the stage where mm, money is getting pretty tight. I hate to have to say this. Um, just about to recruit a cog, so that we can hopefully get across there and see what settlement is available to take. Uh, we're still on with the constructions of the basic buildings here. 
the basic buildings. And Jerusalem is going to receive a jihad. So, uh, good luck, Jerusalem, in holding out against that. And apart from that, there's nothing more we can do. So we'll uh, end the turn and see what crops up. Okay, everything seems to be fine down here, nothing of major... Look at that, 170% public order, now that is more like what I uh, am after. Somewhere with a bit of respect. Right. Communal farming would be handy as well, but we'll keep the buildings that we were on with. Ah, oh, we can start to recruit now as well. We'll, well. A little bit more patience. Ships ready. I'll have my ship sail across to have a bit of a nosy. Set sail. Ah, it's Byzantine lands. And it's under-defended. I can take this and convert that into a, a city, no problem. A fine day to sail. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Where? Oh, in car. Okay. Right. So, to conclude this part... And this set of six videos. Um, just quickly double check everything. Everything is constructing there, you see, that's fine. Yep, that's lovely. Right, so we're getting 4,000. Right. So, yeah. Uh, in the Middle East, a little bit of a rocky situation, but we're looking a bit more stable now. We have a much better castle, so we can recruit units. Some, even some decent units as well. We can recruit units, recruit boats. Uh, so everything in the Middle East is looking a bit more stable. So in, a, in the future parts, um, we will hopefully take this settlement here with a small army, which I will recruit from this settlement. And then we shall look to maybe heading north and picking off the more under-defended settlements in the Middle East. So there's one here. Uh, there's one there as well, the Turks' lands, very under-defended there. Even Damascus isn't... oh, ooh, <laughs> it is now, it wasn't before. Um, what about that one? Oh dear, they're a bit more tougher, and definitely this one. I am going to recruit, as soon as possible, my strongest army down here, and I will take that back, and I will butcher every last person for daring to rebel against the English. And why at a time when you're about to uh, suffer the wrath of a jihad do you take your army out of Jerusalem? Rather bizarre situation there. But that says what has happened. So, yes, that is what's happened in these past six parts. Not many settlements taken. Uh, but, uh, although we haven't increased our settlements in number, we have increased uh, our standing so to speak. So, and to conclude, we can now recruit our army from Nottingham and we shall use it to uh, campaign against the Spanish who have been excommunicated. So that's future parts. Join me again next time to see that happen. I'll see you soon.